You know, us Pinoy fans have been enjoying the MCU and DC movies for a long time. So, why not give our heroes a shot? Hey guys, Joel Flores here, and today I would like to discuss with you of how the Ravelo universe should be like. Can you imagine a shared universe featuring iconic comic book characters created by Mars Ravelo? I think it would be very cool to see our Pinoy superheroes coming together. One day, I thought of the question, how are you going to organize it? Did you know how the MCU organized its movies and series? They grouped their films and series into phases. Kaya sa dalawang sagas nila ngayon, like Infinity Saga and Multiverse Saga, they organized it with three phases each. At isa pang halimbawa, now that James Gunn is now the co-CEO of DC Studios, he organized the upcoming projects into chapters. So with the MCU having phases and the upcoming DC Universe having chapters in their titles, I think it's best that the Ravelo universe should be organized under the title books. Alam nyo, parang book 1, book 2, book 3. So, here is how I think it should go. Every individual project will be considered as chapters and they will be grouped under each book. And those chapters will tell the stories of each comic book character whether it be solo adventures or crossover events. Anyways, ang hindi discuss ko dito sa video na to is for book 1. That means books 2 and 3 will be discussed sa aking mga susunod na videos. And with that, the title for book 1 in the Ravelo universe should be called The Foundation. The goal and the vision for book 1 is to build up your key characters, particularly the Ravelo Trinity. So parang dito natin i-introduce ang ating mga main superheroes ni Mars Ravelo. So if you guys want to know kung ano yung mga chapters sa book 1, let us now proceed to book 1, The Foundation. Chapter 1 in the Ravelo Universe Book 1, well, dito ko pwede ilagay ang Darna TV series. So for those who have watched the series, alam naman po natin na this is the coming of age origin story ni Darna played by Jane De Leon. One of the reasons why I included the Darna series in my Ravelo Universe concept is because they ended the show on a cliffhanger. Spoiler alert, Valentina escaped from prison and chose to continue to wreak havoc. In my opinion, this could make a great setup for Valentina as the main villain for book 1, just like how Loki was the main villain nung phase 1. Also, a cameo appearance by Celeste Cortesi as the Martian Queen Kefnar warned Darna na may paparating na malaking panganib, which I believe this would tie into the largest story sa Ravelo universe. The second chapter in book 1 is Captain Barbell. Now, in this story, a young man named Enteng is given a magical barbell after helping an old man who is revealed to be the Ermitaño. Enteng would lift the magical barbell and become a superhero fighting for justice. Since the Captain Barbell story deals with magic, katulad dun sa comics, dito ko pwede ikwento ang origin ng mismong barbell by incorporating the Philippine mythological gods like Bathala and other deities. Okay, the third chapter in the book one should be a fantasy romance story based on the mermaid Jezebel. Jezebel's story is basically inspired by The Little Mermaid, where she becomes determined in exploring the human world after falling in love with Fredo and after making a deal with a sea witch to gain full human form. Jezebel's story in the Ravelo universe would also explain the war between the underwater world and the human surface. Chapter 4 in Book 1 should be a crossover event between Darna and Captain Barbell. In this story, magsasarit ng puwersa sila Darna at Captain Barbell to stop Valentina from forming a scheme which will lead up to the final chapter sa Book 1. But before Valentina can proceed with her scheme, she has to take out Darna first by any means necessary 
as if she's the only one formidable in stopping her. This would also be the beginning of the Ravelo Trinity, which leads directly into Chapter 5, Plastic Man Returns. This will be taking place after the events of Darna and Captain Barbell and two decades after the Plastic Man TV series starring Vong Navarro. Plastic Man in the Ravelo universe will be a veteran superhero coming out of retirement after a tragedy that happened to him. Sharin mismo ang magiging mentor figure in a group of superheroes. Comedic superhero pa rin siya, pero mas experienced at wiser. And so book one will come into a close with a big crossover event consisting of most, if not all, of Mars Ravelo superheroes, the legends. In this story, our main heroes will set out to recruit three other superheroes, Flash Bomba, Tiny Tony, and Dragona. Kaya lang magiging mahirap ang task nila as each of the heroes must face the demons of their own past, which will inspire them to rise up and work together before it is too late to save the planet mula kay Valentina and her dreadful intentions. In the same fashion of how the MCU revealed Thanos nung end ng Phase 1 and how Darkseid was revealed nung sa Snyder Cut, the Legends will reveal the big bad of the Ravelo universe, si Braguda. Kung naalala ninyo yung Darna series ni Angel Luxin nung 2005, si Braguda ang isa sa mga main villain sa teleserye na yun. And this is what she looked like. Parang siyang high priestess who wants to obtain the White Stone of Darna in order to take over the universe. At sa tingin ko, she would make a great fit to be like a Thanos figure sa Ravelo universe. Anyways, that is it for book 1 sa Ravelo universe. I hope na gusto ninyo ang aking pitch para sa shared universe na ito. Let me know your thoughts of my pitch sa Ravelo universe sa comment section down below. Make sure then to hit the like and subscribe button para abangan ninyo ang aking pitch para sa book 2 at book 3 ng Ravelo universe. Once again, this is Jolo Flores. Thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next video.